are you teasing her correctly in the bedroom? In today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can implement teasing into your love life. And specifically, we're gonna be implementing the art of coquetting. For those of you who aren't familiar with coquetting, coquetting is something that strippers use. It's basically sexual push-pull, ramping somebody up and then taking it away. Now, make sure you stick around for the third example because this is, without a doubt, absolutely guaranteed to drive her wild. So if you want to learn how to get her so horny and turned on that she's going to be ripping your clothes off, then keep watching. My name is Sterling Cooper, award-winning X-rated film star, former high-class male companion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So the first way that you can implement coquetting in your love life right now, when you bring a girl home from a date, when you bring a girl home from a bar, whatever it might be, make out with her and push her up against a wall or the door. Make sure you're putting your hand behind her back so you're cushioning any impact there. But making out with her really passionately there with some force and then you being the one who breaks off. You being the one who disengages from that makeout and then maintaining eye contact with a quirky, cocky little smile and then walking away. And watch her follow you into the next room with anticipation. She will be looking to keep those fun, happy, positive, arousing emotions going that you just took away from her. This is a perfect example of coquetting. So implement that on your next date. So this next example is something you can apply if you're in a relationship with a girl, if you're living with her or she's stopping by your house for a period of time. Say for example, she's hanging out at the kitchen sink, either you know, doing some dishes, cooking something for you in the kitchen, anywhere where she's sort of busy and distracted, you are going to sneak up behind her, start romantically kissing the back of her neck, smelling her hair, leaning in, getting her a bit fired up with some neck kisses, and then reaching your hand down the front of her pants and starting to play with her. And as she starts to get engaged in this, as she starts to get more and more turned on, you start to hear her maybe her breathing starts to change, her breathing starts to get a bit deeper, she starts to get turned on, she starts to moan. That's when you're gonna break it off and you're gonna walk away. You're gonna ramp her up, tease her, with that, get her all excited, get her juices flowing, you know what I mean? And then break it off and walk away. There's gonna be a couple of different ways she's gonna to react to this. She's gonna hate you and, and in a really good way because she knows exactly what you just did and she knows that you know exactly what you just did. Or she's gonna stop whatever she's doing and follow you into the next room to keep those happy, fun, positive emotions going. Again, another perfect example of coquetting. Now this last example is something you can do in the bedroom during the act of coitus itself. Now this is something I like to call the just the tip game. So before you've actually penetrated her with your Johnson, you're going to just rub the tip, the head, the glands your, of your shaft around her outer labia and over her clitoris. And you're just going to tease her by saying things like, "Oh, I don't even know if I should even put it in today. I don't even know if you just, I don't even know if you've deserve to have my dick inside you today." Just teasing her up like that, and then as she starts to get sexually frustrated by this, you are going to ask her to beg for it, make her beg for you to put it in. Now she's obviously going to comply with this because she's at the point where she's going to be sleeping you with you anyway. She's going to be having sex with you anyway. You're going to say, "All right, all right." but just the tip. And then you're only gonna put in the head of your shaft. You're only gonna go as far as the gland. You're not gonna give her the full tilt, so to speak. And just go in and out with just the head. And look her in the eyes and watch the frustration and the sexual, the sexual frustration and the tension build up over her face. Here's what she's gonna do. She's gonna get so turned on by this and she's gonna get so frustrated by this that she's gonna wrap, this is obviously done in missionary position, by the way. She's then gonna get her legs wrap them around your hips and try to pull you into her so that she can feel the full length of you. Trust me, this is exactly what they do every single time you do this. In the meantime, if you want to learn some subtle mistakes that most guys are making in the bedroom right now without even realizing it, check out this video right here. 